This is a massive bow. Oh wow, that is a massive bow. What are you gonna do with it? Funny you should ask. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sunbreakers, all bow mains and well not bow mains because this may be bow but it's bow as you've not seen it before, it's bow as a 15th weapon, it's melee only bow and before you say anything it is unbelievably effective and even more than that it is ridiculously fun. Seriously. I'll show you the math later on, but the EFR of this build is over 1000. Bear in mind the best like normal raw greatsword doesn't even touch 900. This is kind of silly and this level of raw power is achieved very uniquely by Bo due to a combination of a few certain factors that have now fallen in place in Sunbreak for a beautiful alignment. Yes, this isn't going to be as good as normal element bow, but did this build kill Lucent Niger Cougar in about 10 minutes? <laughs> yes! Yes, it did! You have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. So the trifecta triumvirate of powers that be that enable this, that unlock the key to genuinely one of the most entertaining ways to play Monster Hunter I've ever experienced are as follows. Garen Gom Bow. This thing has 410 raw on it, which is ludicrously high. However, it can use power coating and it's obviously a trash elemental bow. So, you know, it kind of gets overlooked because for normal bow, doing normal things, it is really bad. But specifically for the bow's three melee attacks, this is an absolute game changer. Because it can use close range coating, of course, and the best melee bow is simply the highest raw effective bow that can use close range coating. So this is particularly potent. So why am I saying that? Well, uniquely, the bow's melee attacks gain more damage from close range coating compared to power. It's flipped. So we have this really powerful bow. We have the fact that the melee attacks only need close range coating. And then we have Seregios, more specifically blade scale hone. Which means when you dodge an attack, I frame it through, you get a boost to close range coating, a 10% boost. So that adds on top of everything just to really push this over the edge. We combine that with an incredible comfortable Evade Window 5 and Evade Extender 3 for hilarious dodgeball slashes to keep Blade Scale permanently up and keeping you permanently unhit because it's the easiest thing in the world to dodge attacks with Evade Window 5. I say as I get hit a couple times in the background footage, but you know what, I'm trying my best, okay? And you have a recipe for success. The bow's three melee attacks then are the slash from dodge bolt, the little jump stab forward after a dodge, and of course the finale hit of aerial aim. That one being the most powerful single bit of damage the bow can do, even including all of its arrows and dragon piercer. So these three combined all come together to give you this really swish playstyle. You dodge bolt round the monster through its attacks. When you line up correctly and the monster's having a break, you do the jumping melee attack forward. When you have more of an opportunity, you combo it into where you aim, get however many shots off you need to properly time the down stab, and then you do the down stab, and you repeat forever. Herculean draw also increases the damage by 10%, which is another thing to keep up to make this melee style even better. Yes, 
And hey, you even get to do really fancy wake-up hits, because although it's again not ludicrous damage, you still get to aerial aim stab the face for nearly a thousand on most monsters, which really does feel good, especially on a bow. So this is your switch skill loadout, the only one that doesn't matter is the second slot, so use what you like, the other four all come together really nicely. You've got the dodge bolt for the extra melee attack on your dodges to power the engine of blade scale and, you know, you barely ever get hit. You've got the air lane for the big hit when the monster is down or when you feel you've got enough space to do it. You've got the Achillean draw to keep that extra 10% damage up. And, of course, you have the melee attack itself, which is very necessary here. Sadly, stake thrust does not really help. So hopefully I've sold you on it, and what you're all about with this, and why it's so much fun. It just feels good to be dodging the monster's attacks effortlessly with Evade Window 5 and Dodge Bolt, but in that same instance be literally killing it while having further options. It's like playing this super cool game of lateral chess where you can only move left and right, forward and back, and you choose the best option each time and constantly chip away until the monster dies. The armor set, then, that we are going for to make this happen is as follows. We have the Lunagaron helmet, the Seregios chest, the Golden Rathian gloves, the Rathalos waist, and the Ingot legs. I have a three-crit eye talisman with a two-slot, and basically you just want as much of the good skills as possible from your talisman. Wex, boost, attack, or crit eye. This gives us a really nice starting roundup of full crit eye. Crit boost is is full for me because I have one extra from Curious Crafting on main got legs, so that's nice. So that lets me get attack five, but you'll have crit boost two here, but you'll see when you decorate it in how it all makes sense. And for Curious Crafting, in case you are wondering, you do just want to finish attack, and if you still need more after that, either comfort, stamina, or agitator. Decorated up, then, we have ourselves this, and it is beautiful. Crit I7, you'll have attack 4, crit boost 3, we have full evade window, full evade extender, full blade scale hone, we also have ourselves full defiance, as there is 5 spare 1 slots, at least for me, thanks to my talisman, so that's nice, though you're going to really need 3 defiance for the most part, we have a little bit of chain crit, which is always nice, wirebug whisperer, which is really good too, and that's all she wrote. A really nicely, tightly honed together set that does the job perfectly and still gives you a bit of curious crafting room. Mathematically then, as I promised you, well, let's do this thing. We want a double attack augment on our Garangone bow. You could also put affinity on, which is the tiniest bit better, but it's really not much in it. Whichever you've got materials for is fine. This gives us a 427 to work with, we times it by our multipliers, 5% for attack 4, by 39% for, well, our lovely uh, close range coating, which if you want to know what it literally technically does, is it makes your melee attacks have the equivalent of purple sharpness, which is 1.39. We have blade scale for an extra 10%, Herculean extra 10%, and 9% affinity with a 3 crit boost, which is another 36% effective damage, which gives an effective raw of 1 1,026! The prophecy is true. Which is ridiculous! Yes, that is being applied to the bow's three melee attacks, which don't have the greatest motion values, but still, that is ridiculous, and it is so cool that that is even possible, thanks to Sunbreak and everything we've talked about in this video. So, I heartily recommend you give this a go, only just to try it, if anything, because it genuinely is such a fun way to play the game and it's lovely feeling that dodgy while still doing the stabby, and again, having the world's biggest bow to do it with, which feels only appropriate. All right then, guys, let me know what you think, of course. Like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell. Let me know what weapons you'd like to see fun little builds on in future. Consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good... Oh.
why? Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.